Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sagai, board certified dermatologist. Just finished work, back at home now, and I'm gonna wind down, but I wanna show you guys a really cool secret. I was talking to my patient today about glowing up your skin. Someone was asking at the end of the visit, hey doc, I'm here, I'm the dermatologist. How do I like boost my skincare game, get some glowy skin, because I know dewy skin is in. I'm like, great question. Let's talk about it. It's kind of nice and refreshing to talk about these things because I'm doing skin checks, acne, warts, skin surgeries where I'm removing skin cancer tumors. So it's nice to just like talk about something light and fun. Just like online and social media, we like to talk about these things. So let's talk about the top three ways to glow up your skin. And I'm gonna try to make this concise, but let's have some fun with it. Let's talk about some different products you can consider. Some might be a higher price point than what we're used to on this channel, but it's okay. It's good to talk about different things. And I'll try to mention some affordable options as well as the fun goodies that you could get over the holidays or on your birthday. You can ask for some nice skincare gifts, okay? So let's jump into it. All right, first off, as soon as you cleanse your face while your skin's damp, consider a hyaluronic acid serum. Uh, now, there are tons of different hyaluronic acid serums. One of my favorites would have to be Vichy's Mineral 89. Great gentle serum. It only has like 11 or 13 ingredients in this. It's by Vichy. This contains their volcanic water. It's a nice, safe option that's so reliable. This is a brand new bottle here. And it goes on so well to damp skin. And when you have hyaluronic acid, it's just, it's found naturally in our skin, but we have, we have decreased production of hyaluronic acid with time, especially after age 25. And this sugar, this carbohydrate draws in water and holds onto it, soaks it up and it helps hydrate our skin and temporarily plump it. Now it doesn't increase collagen production like peptides in your moisturizer or retinol. It does a great job when you have damp skin, just apply it and it really will soak up that moisture and try to get your skin nice and dewy and plump. So other hyaluronic acid serums you can consider would be The Ordinary, The Inky List, all fine options to go by, but a really cool hack that I like is the using the Snail Mucin by Causorex. That Snail Mucin essence is just so good. It's packed with hyaluronic acid, and yes, I said it, it's Snail Mucin, and it actually is so hydrating and it's just a nice little hack that I will use around the time of a wedding or if I wanna, if I do a photo shoot, I'm gonna use that essence so that I can really plump up my skin. My favorite though of all time would have to be the How You Be 5 by La Roche-Posay. That one is fragrance, but I love the smell. I love how hydrating it is. I feel like it plumps my skin up better than even Vichy's. You gotta check that one out if you haven't yet. But if you are allergic to fragrance, if you have a known allergy to fragrance, then probably not for you. Hyaluronic acid, that's number one. The other thing that I like that's a nice serum would be vitamin C, vitamin C serum. So number two would be vitamin C serums. Consider a vitamin C serum to help glow up your skin. When we talk about glowing up, it's not just that dewy, hydrated look, but also decreasing the amount of blockage on your face so that light can hit your face and reflect back at the viewer very well. So when you increase luminosity of your skin by hydrating it, but also decreasing dark spots that have come up from sun damage over the years. I'm from Hawaii originally. I went to Boston for a residency. Now I live in Seattle, much less sun than Hawaii, but a lot of the sun that we get from the first 18 to 20 years of life will come up later on and I'm starting to see that. And so I always tell my young patients and viewers online, the biggest thing I wish I did was wear sunscreen more as a child in my teen years, in my young adulthood, in college at uh, University of Hawaii because all of that, that time is so important in protecting your skin from sun damage. So well, how do we reverse it besides retinoids would be a vitamin C serum. So there's different vitamin C serums out there. There's Dermatology's vitamin C E plus F. So this is a nice one. Um, it has vitamin C, vitamin E, and ferulic acid. And it's, uh, it's a little bit higher price point, but not as much as the CE Ferulic by Skin Better Science. But I wanna show you that if you don't use these quickly within the first couple months, it will change color and turn into this dark syrupy look here. So you wanna use your vitamin C serums probably in the first two to three months. Otherwise, they'll start to oxidize and break down and become less potent. I know some brands have shown that even if this color changes, it might still work. Like say on that Apple um, experiment when the Apple starts to change color, um, 
you know, that, that uh, this can reverse it or prevent it from that color change. Um, vitamin C can do that specifically. And so SkinCeuticals, I believe, did that apple trick and showed that even if the color of the product changes, it's still efficacious. But I don't know. I, I actually do think that if you buy these more affordable options, say CeraVe Vitamin C Serum or Derm... Um, or say like May Love, color starts to change, I think the potency is probably going down. I haven't proven that yet, but I always say try to keep your vitamin C serum in a cool area. You can even put it in the fridge if you wanted, but a cool area and not in the sunlight by the windowsill. And also try to use it up within two to three months. Otherwise, I think you're gonna lose the potency. So vitamin C is an antioxidant. It's gonna help try to fight the free radical damage we get from pollution, the sunlight, and it's gonna help with those dark spots that we all deal with. The other higher price point besides SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic would be um, Skin Better Science Alto. Very nice option. They're advanced. I'm starting to use more than their OG Alto, so I'm going to start to switch over to their advanced. But this is just packed with 19 antioxidants. Very nice cream. This is also changing color too after using it for several months. I have to start using this a little faster now, but this is a great brand i like their alpha red quite a bit but their alto just on the money there other options you could consider if they are more affordable i've talked about Naturium's vitamin c complex serum very nice texture very stable they just came out with a cleanser which i'm excited to try out and then you know may love is a great brand too with vitamin c e and ferulic acid and that's 15 percent ascorbic acid like dermatology c e plus f and skin cuticles c e ferulic I've talked about Glow Recipe before in the past, but their Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum is really nice. Really nice texture to it. Right there. Very silky smooth. Put that on. You can put this on after cleansing and then follow up with your Hyaluronic Acid Serum. You can do it in that order. It's a very popular way to use both Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin C. You can totally do that. They won't interact in a negative way. So you could cleanse, put your Vitamin C Serum, then your Hyaluronic Acid. If you were to flip it and put your Hyaluronic Acid on damp skin and then your Vitamin C Serum, it's fine. Nothing bad is gonna happen. It's gonna be just fine. And if you wanna double up on two lightweight serums, go for it. Another nice Vitamin C option, that I like a lot is Vichy's Lift Active Vitamin C. It's 15% vitamin C. They don't make the vials anymore, those little ampules, but this one, this dropper, very good, but you also have to use it within three months because this will change color. So after you apply your vitamin C serum or your antioxidant serum, you know, whether it's you know in a dropper or in a pump, you know, these pumps are nice and convenient, but if you have it in a dropper, you know, they're all great. I like them all. I will alternate between all of them. Now, the last part is actually the most affordable part because if you want that nice dewy look, you're gonna seal it all in with a moisturizer. Now, my favorite moisturizer of all time has to be Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Great, packed with squalane, so hydrating and moisturizing. It's just a nice, cool texture. You put it on your skin, it feels like the cream was left in the fridge. So I like that one a lot, but they also made this nice super multi-corrective cream that I've been really enjoying. I'll show you, this is a brand new jar. And the texture is a little thicker than your, um, than the ultra facial cream. So in the winter time, it feels a little bit more nourishing perhaps. So you just seal in all your serums with this cream with some kind of moisturizer. And you know, I've talked about moisturizers that are great on the channel. You could do, you know, Naturium's uh, peptide moisturizer. You could do something affordable like CeraVe's PM lotion with niacinamide. You could also get another niacinamide containing moisturizer with peptides like Olay's uh, peptide 24 uh, moisturizer I've talked about on the channel. Um, you can also do, um, you know, Vanna Cream is a very affordable brand if you have sensitive skin. Their daily moisturizer, so good, works well with actives, works well with retinol at bedtime. But during the day, if you want to use that in the morning after your serums, go right ahead. It feels great. Now, after the moisturizer, though, this is where it gets real interesting. You slug. You can put a small amount of petrolatum on your face. And you can do it after or before your sunscreen. Usually we say sunscreen's your last you know, part of your skincare routine. 
but you just put a small amount of Vaseline, CeraVe, healing ointment, or Aquaphor on your cheekbones, a little bit on your forehead. You just need a small amount. Otherwise, if you slug too much, you're gonna break out and occlude your skin. That's how you end it. You get your serums after you cleanse, put your moisturizer, and then some petrolatum, just for that little bit of glow up, increase the luminosity, put some on your lips, and voila, that's how you can try to glow up. You wanna put your sunscreen over it, go right ahead, you can still have a little bit of shine, but if you wanna put your sunscreen and just put a little extra Vaseline, Aquaphor, around the cheekbones, it's gonna be great. I get that question a lot. You know, you don't want to slug over your sunscreen. Petrolatum is interesting. It can it can alter the transmission of UV. So I would say probably use a small amount. You can do that. Put your sunscreen on. Or I feel like it has been okay if you're like if the UV is really low and you want to just put a small amount and you're indoors for like photos. I put a small amount if I have a photo shoot. I'm gonna put a little bit of Vaseline just to accentuate that glow. I know Zendaya does that. And Marilyn Monroe did that. She used Vaseline back in the day for like that extra highlight in her photos. And she used it as a highlighter with her makeup. That's a little nice hack there. But if it is a sunny day and you're out at the beach, I wouldn't go slugging because why are you slugging at the beach? Your main priority when you go out at the beach is to protect yourself from the sun, right? You're gonna go enjoy the beach, but wear your sunscreen and don't have to mess with slugging and all that stuff. Slugging would be more during the day if you're gonna be indoors and you have a, an indoor wedding or something or if you're gonna go for a photo shoot or go to a reunion indoors. That's when you could start using, playing around with your um, slugging and using a little bit around the cheekbones, okay? So big thing, always wear sunscreen no matter what, whether it's the winter, summer, fall, spring, you name it. In terms of using Vaseline or your petrolatum, be real careful because you could seal in your retinol with your Vaseline and cause too much irritation. So I usually say don't slug if over retinol or retinoids, especially the prescription stuff that I would give you like tretinoin. And also don't put it over active acne. And if you are very much acne prone and you're a senior dermatologist for acne treatments, talk to them. Or am I allowed to slug? Because this can be a little too thick, especially when you see those TikToks of them getting gobs of Vaseline and smothering their face with it. Don't do that, just really the smallest amount just for your lips and your cheekbones, forehead. It's really all you need, okay? So that's just a nice little way to glow up, all right? So we got our serums, moisturizer, and then seal it all in with the smallest amount of petrolatum, okay guys? So I hope this video is helpful. Please hit the like button, please share with your friends who are into skincare, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Have a good night, guys. Peace.